and welcome to this series where we are playing the 7.6 update for father's frontier yes there's been a new update uh, which was released on i think it was the 22nd of september 2022 before we get into talking a little bit about that update i want to say apologize for the break in the release schedule for this uh series I've been working on workers and resources for the new update. I accidentally went down the rabbit hole with respect to Metro and trams, and I literally spent the whole day on something that was meant to take about half an hour. That out of the way, let's just talk a little bit about the 7.6 update. Now, this is very much a quality of life uh, balancing update. There's a whole list of bug fixes and minor changes. I'm not going to go through every one of them, partly because uh, some of them I can't really demonstrate. It just be me talking about them. Also, I, I, I'm more interested in just letting the game play and see how things go. Now, probably the most significant change is with the barns, because what's actually happened is they've reduced the herd size to 10. So what we're going to have to do is reduce the this down to here so we can get some butchering they've also improved the relationship between milking and slaughtering so that the priorities a bit more sorted out hopefully they might have done something a little bit about the uh, crops in in here as well and the other thing also sorry i didn't mention it we come up here now that you can't upgrade the barn until you're tier four. I think that's part of the process of starting to rebalance the game a little bit because I did I do feel that some of the buildings were a little bit easy to too easy to get. Okay, we're going to need to adjust our wrap matters again. Now there's a lot of other adjustments that have been made. <sighs> Getting rats everywhere here. Um, okay, I think we've got. Uh, I wonder whether this is actually the result of one of the adjustments that the rats are a lot more active now. So let me just try and balance this out. Let's say there's quite a few kind of quality of life type changes. You're covering this area. Oh, well, we'll just have to see if we can get. Well, that one's actually got rid of those. So. We move you over here. Get you up here to get rid of the rats out of the storehouse. One I can remember is they've reduced the number of arrows you get per log. I think it was 20, now it's 18. Decrease the requirements for sand for glass to make this a bit more efficient. They've added an extra person to the arborist and the, arbor the fields are actually a lot more productive. Quite interesting that these fields have seemed to have gone bare in the center because what they've actually done is they've changed the way the fertility now not desirability fertility now shows as well um i, I can't see a difference but you can see it's a little bit fainter with respect to the fertility in fact that reminds me i'm gonna do is uncheck you and get you built now and as I say, there's quite a lot of other changes that have gone on, which are listed. And I think all we can do really is just to play the game and see how things go. What I originally wanted to do is see if we could possibly get up to tier four, but um, by working on some of the decor. And somebody actually did suggest about the fact that one sneaky way to repair buildings is to actually... Uh, move them but i do wonder whether they're repairing that those buildings seem to be getting repaired a little bit more easier but i think i would like another arbitrist over here We've got rats certainly seem to be getting a lot more rats in here let me just get back to our ability what we're looking for we got a 79 there what are you already a large houses it's large houses that we're after isn't it so what we're looking for is houses with get this homestead up we've got to get over 65 yeah we just need a second food stuff in there 
We were looking for areas where we could push the desirability over 65. We've got a little bit of a patch here. I think we covered this area. This is 63, 57 here. We maybe we could get a little bit of decoration. They've also fixed a, an edge with some of these decorations. It seems they're over, overlapping the footpaths. I must admit, I wasn't aware of that. Can you get that in there? Nope. I mean, I could move one of these buildings out. Get it in there. Let's drop you in there. And then if we can get some small park, probably put a small park down here, but that might really, I would like to kind of, we're not really pushing up the desirability that much here. What about a small statue? Doesn't indicate. If I put a small statue just in there, that might be just enough. Maybe we're another one just there. Again, I don't, don't really want to overload the situation. Got this shrine here. Not dirty. How much, how much iron have I got? I've got plenty of iron. Uh, maybe we'll upgrade you as well. I'll just get that going. I do wonder whether the gates are working properly because we were still getting live uh, wildlife coming into here. Oh, look at that. Got trap set. I mean, we got 25 months of food stores. Really happy with the way that the economies come together. To be completely honest, I think this series is starting to come to an end. But I would certainly like to get to tier 4 if possible. Um, there has been a change with the compost and I think what it does is that when it's full it says something in the release notes about it, the excess disappears uh, let me just see 88% 82% 96% wow two villagers died of old age we got 300 we're okay I uh, got a sawmill which I think I'd like to prioritize that and get that sawmill finished um but the furniture workshop is plugging away i don't really want to upgrade but firewood splitter there that's purely decorative i think what i'd like to do is possibly work on something in the, oh can we upgrade them i think we hit 50 planks and then it dropped down I certainly would like to upgrade the market here because that would mean we'd make more money. Maybe we're push that on as well. Obviously, my population is aging quite dramatically. Okay, let's just get pretty bleak. Of course, we got our barracks here. I kind of. Maybe we could, we got the this workshop here. Here, actually, let me just check my work camps. If uh, everyone's doing okay, and down here, you're working in this area. I think maybe we need to bring you back over this area here. I do wonder whether it might pay to move the work camp over here, but we don't know what's down here. So I think we've, we've got the population for it. So let's just find out what's on the back of here. A little bit of exploration. Like that. Let's let that run. Another thing I would like to do is upgrade a couple of these. Um, that was ready to be upgraded. 
think maybe if we upgrade this corner because this is a potential weak spot so i think if we can upgrade this guy um, tower here at us got rats in there certainly got a lot more rats um operating now i think we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to make some more rat catchers um i think i'm gonna put a rat catcher in here because we need to protect this central area um services i, I get a distinct feeling that this is um, an effect of the update. The rat catchers are a little bit more prevalent to what they're actually doing. How's the how's our workforce? Got plenty of workforce. We've still got got a shortage of farmers though. Um, just add that up. Right, we come through the new season. I think what I'd like to do is add a new field. Bring this road down here like that. And then we can put a food production restart. Yeah. Nope, want that. It's going to be operating. Say we put fill there, and then we'll just encircle this field as well walls all right i think i really need to upgrade the wells um to put you there and we're on this build up to kind of there and then uh, maybe we'll put another yep, gate in here but that would give us another field to go for we got a bit of a okay we've got a new merchant as far as i know there's been no upgrades to merchants i have to prioritize you i think but we've got two merchants in here let's pause so we can have a look see we've got pottery they're selling at average price um baskets no these are coats uh, sorry you're not gonna get my coats at below average price um you're a cheapskate aren't you so we're not we're not really that inclined to sell um cheese at below average price but it's not like we're short of cash um it goes against the grain got spices there and it's average price absolutely no idea what the benefit of spices are but um let's just then wow maybe not <laughs> uh i've got money but i haven't got that much money okay let me just see well sell the candles all those items we got the we can sell the pottery because that's average price as well Got to do a bit of trading uh we got some beer is because uh, we don't sell the items then we don't restock them and we we might get a manufacturing blockage um what we got here we've got crude weapons uh, we certainly don't want coal how are we, how are we off for swords don't really have any swords uh we've got some crude weapons we've got some tools it's at that price is average so i think we're going to buy about seven swords the reason for buying the swords is that i know i'm producing them but i 
I want to make sure that I've got the swords for the actual process. I mean, got the rat out. Your job is going to be just to protect. I can get the two stores. We're going to give you these t these guys a permanent position. Your job is to protect these initial stores in the central core. Something like that. So what have we got? Food wise, seven hundred and eighty. What one another thing they've actually done in the update is that I think they've I can find a smoke smokehouse. I think he's a smokehouse. Firewood splitter. Where's the smokehouses? Here they are. They've actually increased the productivity of the smokehouses, so we should be able to get a lot more of turned into. Uh, what we call it into smoked meat another thing that's also done is that, that I think there's now a penalty if you can't support buildings that need gold uh, like the theater here what used to happen before was that the you you could incur a penalty but it still kind of functioned but made sure that penalty is in force so that's something okay we got I don't have enough logs do the upgrade you need you need planks as well so we're not gonna no, we've got two new villagers but the fields are working quite well quite happy with the crops here the graveyards filling up how much 65 out of 192 so we're not doing too bad now what i would like to do is we've got this here I don't know if I've got any more heavy tools. Let me just have a look. We've got seven heavy tools. We've got 101 bows. We've got one. See, look, they've already grabbed the swords. <laughs> Who's grabbed the swords? Have you actually... It says the... Lost the disease. So who's grabbed all my swords? You better be prepared to become guards if you've done that. You know, what was I doing? Let me just see. We got where's the raw materials? Where have we got five iron ore. I think we really need to do something about getting some more. Um, let me just press F4. Let me just see. Whoops, that's the oak tree. Uh, I think I'd like to get a couple more workers into there for the iron ore and also maybe a couple more bringing in the coal mine there uh, we sent out the explorers didn't we so let me just what have we got out here mm -hmm. if there's any other resources production well I'm not seeing any mines out here but i'm not expecting them because of course there's this slightly stereotypical view of the world that says all mines should be on the top of mountain um you know what we got here we've got blueberry bushes okay well, we've got a whole nice lot of watch of blueberries here um I think we're and we got some willow out here as well so we so this is just an enclosed lake there's no more fish what we're gonna do is just where's my um we want to keep them all together that's uh, a little bit too far down well, we've got the mountain here uh, so it looks like we've got iron ore iron ore gold sand pit on top of the mountain got sumac out here oops a bit lag hawthorn 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 Okay, we're looking good. 
part of the where's my what we call it brain shut down foragers we got no foragers out here oh here medicinal herbs the hunter's lodge since we got two hunters lodges out here and a forager who's foraging pretty effectively here uh, i really like that this out here what we're going to do is we're going to push out another forager step them no thank you i'm going to push another forager out there just to see if we can get things going there's the ratty rats in here now I'm going to have to put rat catchers everywhere. Um, so it might pay to put food stores in specific locations. Right, how are we doing for... Oh, we've got 21 out of 25. Right, are we getting extra stuff in? In the way of all... No, we're not really gaining that much in the way of ore so I can't see the point of bringing that online just at the moment and get this done school site what do you need for an upgrade we're we going to start acquiring planks I'm going to get an extra couple of planks producers in there because we're going to need we need planks for like furniture in fact, how much furniture have I got check that seven furniture right i think what we're going to do is we want me to get a premium price so whoops i don't want you exploring that with the flags right let's get into here where's the furniture i'm not going to put an excessive amount of furniture in there because you never know we're still kind of playing catch up um we do need new accommodation i just don't want to be driven by you know, the fact that we got that this problem maybe we could aim for 400 can't we okay where's the market we got a little bit of a corner here for a couple of houses on the edge of the market we put maybe one like that and another one just over there um, what's the desirability here pretty rubbishy but we could push up but right, we've now got the school finished that's going to push up this area here what we can do is maybe kind of put in a little bit of decor just there maybe another one that covers that area there so we'll just drop a couple of those in how are we doing for repairs and damage okay let's switch up for the winter what we're going to do is switch off upgrades and we're just going to let the game run and see if they get out to here to do the repairs We got repairs all over now. We got a surplus. We just need. Let me just see. Um, we got quite a lot of um, workers. Got guards. We extra guarding. That's not built. I think that's probably just down to the fact that somebody died. We've got this shortfall with the food production militarily we're okay we got i think we got full cover the only thing we haven't got is an armorer i wasn't aware that we could build an armorer let me just see it'd be production won't it resources glass maker furniture worker brewery boundary blacksmith okay i uh, missed you Ah, 
Where can I put you? Oh, this is a blacksmith's torch, isn't it? Oh, that fits, doesn't it? So if I remove you, complete building. Yeah, that's a major oversight on my part. I wasn't I missed a mit. Um what we'll do is we'll put the armor out there. We could have got shields and hullbucks for our troops. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend that for the winter. So that hopefully my crews will get out here and start to repair the buildings. Uh, the other thing also is wells. It actually doesn't give us notification for upgrade. Once we've got these repairs done, I think we're going to need to think about upgrading our wells a bit. So we're just going to let the game run for the moment. Keep an eye on our the repair situation here and see how things go. I'm in really close to that. We've got two new livestock built. So we got through the winter, but we didn't actually repair very much. So, um, in fact, the repairs here have degenerated from green. Oh, no. I think we might have repaired the green. Right, I'm going to put the upgrades on because of the sale. I do would like to get to tier four. Um, what are you upgrading to? Large house. So I think we will. But then again, what do we need for? We need a hundred iron or a hundred iron. Okay. Now the iron's going to be the issue because effectively to be able to get a hundred iron in the bank to do the upgrade and the uh, wood planks means that we're going to need to. What's this here? Stockyard. What's the upgrade for the stockyard? Uh, one hundred and fifty gold. Thirty planks. We got this stockyard here. It has got ore and bricks and stuff in. Crops are ready for assignment. Okay, let's have a look here. Right, we need to do combat with the weeds. So we're going to put you in first because you're already done. And we'll put some beans in that year. I think this were just go we've got quite a we don't have so much rock as at rocky this so we've got we've quite a lot of weed level so i think we'll just put that in what we want is something that's got a relatively high weed suppression this is three out of ten i think what we'll do is we're going to grow buckwheat in here because it's going to suppress the weeds Again, we'll just do that, and I think we're I think move you. You're frost tolerant. What we could do is do it that way around. No, so we get three crops with a rotation in the center. I think that will work. Right, we've got a merchant. What are you drawing the trade? Right, he's, he's going to buy my furniture for above average. We'll certainly sell that. But above average for cheese. What we could do with increasing the the amount of cheese that would give us. You got medicines not going to give you that. You're selling us swords, I think. Cheese wise, we can increase this to maybe 206. Got plate mail here, heavy armor. Everything is above the anything that's below price is barrels. Hmm. I think what I might do is buy a few barrels. Maybe we'll uh, buy 
eight and buy a transfer. Because if we got barrels, we might be able to distribute them better. What's the upgrade? Right, but we're still looking for one more building to upgrade. Right, we've actually done repaired these buildings. That's a rock, actually. Can you harvest that rock? I don't want it stuck in the middle of my ground because then I could possibly do something about that. Right, this one's upgrading. We're going to prioritise you so that we can see if we can get to... I'm just going to let the game run. Two villagers attacked. Oh, okay, what have we got here? 24 raiders sighted. Where are you? Um, no, you're coming in from this direction. I've got a surprise for you, though, guys. Because I've got a good tower here. And this guy gets the bonus. He gets plus nine. Look at that. Anybody else coming in? These guys are... Whoa! Look at this lot. Um, we're going to bring our we always go for this corner I might need to double this wall up here but We've got to get in the best of them here. We got through, but <laughs> after them, boys. This guy's a bit single minded, isn't he? Oh, we got the yo-yo guys here. Okay. Move them over. We'll do a bit of fighting. What I want them to do is to go for a ranged attack, but will they do it? Okay. Wait. Ah, a little bit of aggression. And we got them. They've gone. Okay. Turn to barracks. Right. How many men did we lose? Um okay. add another one. I think this guy's a bit stronger. And of course they've destroyed this war here. But then this is the purpose of this war that the opposition wastes a lot of time coming through the enclave. So we're just going to rebuild this section through here. What I am going to do is we're going to reinforce this section here. Um, you can see fences, duck defences, walls and roads. Prioritize. Prioritize. And what we'll do is we'll just fill this corner in. They're going to have to come through a double wall there. Um, Lich dies of illness. These, these two cat tower combinations here work quite well. We've still got a little bit of a dead zone here. 
Um, how are we doing? What we're going to do is stop producing. These guys go off and do something else for a little while. Um, we can start building the armorer. What that should do is, is because these are with this is our only kind of use of uh, iron beyond building. What we should then do is start to build up some iron in the system. I think I've missed the trader, so I? okay, that's okay. Right, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to play on and see if we can get enough iron to do the upgrade for the um, town center. Um, beyond that, we're okay. We got 12 months of food, although we're going to have to be a bit careful. We're over 400 population. Okay, we're counting down to a couple more. And we should be there. Right, we've got traders just come in. Let's we'll just see what he's offering. Um, he's offering to sell us swords. He's prepared to pay above average for the candles. We're selling them. Got a little bit of glassware. We're selling that as well. Uh, he's prepared to pay up above average for cheese, which is good. So we uh, let the game run. Right. Let me just. We can see we can now upgrade the village center. Of course, the last thing I want to do is switch on the these industries. We need to get that built because, as I say, that's the primary focus of this part. Let's back to the trader. Yeah, sell sellers beer, sell sellers preserves. How often? How well often I have for tools? Yeah, we don't really have any tools, so but he's selling them above average. I think we're just gonna have to live without tools for a little while. Let's just see. This guy just uses iron and coal, so. Oops, no. Ah. Put him off again, sorry. Uh, we're going to prioritize that to get everything in there first. We need everything delivered here so that we can get things going. TV, I'd like to this but I want to make sure that we've got the planks into here first to see but right, you've got everything next job is to upgrade the market down here or upgrade you and then we can switch on our industries uh, we'll just have two people in here for the moment and then we'll get back to managing. Oh, so the Blacksmith's Forge is actually now tier four. Or was it tier four? I remember now. So we get back to manufacturing the tools. What I'm going to do now is just play on and see if we can get the town hall upgraded. And we've now got our tier four town centre. Well, that's pretty cool. That looks, looks pretty brilliant. Nice little front door there. I think this is one of the reasons why you need to get the orientation fairly correct when you first start out. If you get them wrong when the buildings are upgraded, then they don't align properly with the roads. I think just to finish off, uh, you've got all your resources. Uh, I um, just want to get this guy built and then that will be it for this video. Apologies if I've gone over long, but I just really felt that that might be a, something that I really needed to do. Obviously, the roads are still supposed to be upgrading these roads, but I suppose they just need to catch up. So I put them there. Actually, we've got several buildings upgrading to manors. What? Quite interesting that we got in here the market square 
these are large houses obviously we've got a higher desirability here than over there although that says 95 percent what's holding these guys back let's resume yeah we need three types of food i'm really going to need to find out what the types of food actually are what yeah what the different types actually are there we are we've now got ourselves a, a little manor here next to our town center and we've actually got accommodation for six people so let's have a look a large house has got accommodation for five people a manor has got accommodation for four people uh, a large house has got oh that's the same as before isn't it so it goes four five six uh, so increasing your housing stock quality does make quite a difference if you can get enough of them but it's going to take a little while to get them all up to manor houses and i don't think there's anything else that can be up what we got here um we need another defender in there guarding our frontier what was it this is uh this could be upgraded this foundry ready to be upgraded well, i think we'll just flag that for an upgrade for a bit of iron and that i think the blacksmith can be upgraded as well of course what we got here now is our new um armory and i think we'll just leave that at one to one and we'll just build up our fences that way and just a quick stock right well, we've got 16 hell books eight weapons so um, i mean things are going pretty well we got we're a little bit low on food but we're kind of but we got 2700 we got 13 months of good food stocks this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming